Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I was asked to review Norton Internet Security 2010. Uh, the reason I decided I, w I was going to do it was because the only other Norton project I reviewed was uh, Endpoint Protection, and that's for business. Um, you, average everyday person is not going to be able to buy that, uh, but people will be able to buy Norton Internet Security. And I've tried to do this review once before, and something happened to my um, video and I lost all of it so I'm gonna redo it um, download it I just got it today um, installer is 98.7 megabytes so it's not small so I'm gonna install it and uh, to save time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and go to the installer and if anything interesting comes up I will unpause the video show you guys if not I'll see you when um, it's all done installing see you in a second Okay, so uh, Norton installed. Um, I ran an update. See, one minute ago, you can see. Uh, under settings, the only thing that I'm going to change is I'm going to turn early load on. That's it. Just in case something sneaks by, um, have it load first. And that's the only thing I'm going to mess with. So, I have the same signatures I used in my previous test today, and there were some nasty things in here. Um, you can look at my other test uh, for spy emergency and uh, see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this one uh, basically isn't telling me much. It just says uh, you're one of the very first Norton users to download this file. They say don't uh, use it. Most people should hit stop. But I want to see if something else in the program um, can catch it. So I'm going to run it just to see what happens here. That's the only one that I'm going to let squeak by, though. Yeah, that one was dead from before. yet again one that hasn't been caught but this time I'm going to stop it this is a uh, fairly new rogue if I remember right okay as you can see this is this is basically like a hips thing you know do you want to run it run do you remove it or do you want to stop it so what happens if I click remove that one might be dead I know the key gen one is dead Seems I have a lot of them that aren't working. Yet again, one that wasn't caught by really much anything. Not the signatures, not anything. It's leaving the decision up to you. And for the average user, that's not good. Because they might make the wrong choice. Well, they probably will make the wrong choice. But this is why they keep selling this. See, look at the same thing. Wonder if Sonar is ever going to come to play here. Yet again, we'll hit remove. Once again, I'm going to try this last, this one that didn't work before. See if I can get it to work. Maybe not. Uh, 
Okay. So. What I'm going to do now is I am going to run a scan. I'm going to run a full system scan. And I'm going to see if it catches anything. That Especially that one that I let by. Because I only let one by by allowing insight. Now the problem is that uh, your average person wouldn't know what to do with those even though it's telling you all the things. Maybe they thought that they wanted that program so they'd let it run. And as you saw I let that one run and it didn't say anything else. So I'm gonna pause the video right now and I'm gonna wait, wait, wait for it to finish scanning and I'll be back when it's done. See you in a second. Okay so it uh, finished scanning and all it found was some tracking cookies. So we'll fix the tracking cookies. Yeehaw, right? And we'll hit finish here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install Malwarebytes and see if we can catch that one that I let squeak by. And I think a couple of other ones squeaked by too, not just that first one, because I think I ran two that uh, I never got a pop-up about. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this update, and I'm going to do a quick scan, and we'll see uh, what happens. I'll be back uh, when the scan uh, finishes here. All right, see you in a second. Okay, so uh, I finished scanning here, and uh, apparently Malwarebytes didn't find anything. Uh, I have a feeling those signatures are so new that uh, Malwarebytes doesn't have them in its system yet. Um, but either way, you saw that uh, a couple of things did uh, try to squeak by. What I'm going to do just this time for an experiment, because Malwarebytes didn't find anything, I'm going to download Super Anti-Spyware, and give that a scan and see if that catches anything. I'll uh, be back after I do a quick scan with that. Okay, so uh, Super Anti-Spyware here finished. So uh, apparently uh, those two or a couple of ones that might have made it by, I guess, weren't anything major um, or got stopped because uh, neither Super Anti-Spyware or uh, Malwarebytes caught anything. Uh, the interesting part was that I actually had to intervene on all of them. I, I had to make the decision, should I let it go by? Should I let it go by? And uh, that's what happens when you're playing with brand new uh, malware. Um, I didn't see Sonar come in at all. Which is kind of interesting, but whatever. Um, I know it's got to be turned on. Yeah. It's turned on, as you can see. But it worked. Um, especially if you follow their recommendations, you definitely have no problems. I'll give um, Norton an 8, 8 to 9 out of 10. I did a good job at keeping the computer clean. Um, don't see a lot of RAM usage. So that's good. So we got one there, one there. Uh, 12 megs. Uh, I'm not sure what other processes here belong to Norton, but it's not bad, and uh, that does it for my Norton review. Uh, definitely a good piece of software if you're looking to buy uh, an antivirus. Definitely look into the new Norton. Did great, and I'll uh, see you guys later.